If you have a Hayward Swim Clear 5030, I'm going to show you how to take this apart and put the filters back in. First thing you want to do is you want to shut the pump off. Once you get the pump off, the release air valve at the top, undo that. You're going to wait till the sound of air goes away. The drain plug on the bottom, wherever yours is, take that off. Once it stopped draining out, air stopped. You're going to undo the bolt. Remember how everything goes back together. Take the metal band off. Just put it off to the side. Just take the lid off. Put that off to the side. Take this top off. Now if the screen at the top is gone like this one or broken, make sure you replace it. I'll link everything down below what you might need for this including this screen. Take the filters out. The bottom base, it comes right out. It's connected to just like that. So you can clean this all off. There might be some stuff on the bottom just take a hose and spray it all out because you have the drain open so you just clean it all the way out. The top lip here where the large o-ring is, you can clean, take this off and clean this, all the gritty stuff, sand, clean all that up. And same as around this lip, you gotta make sure all the stuff cleaned up all the way around. Take a cloth and just clean up all the way around this. Once your O-ring is cleaned off, good, and then you can re-grease it. I'll link the grease down below. So you put that back on all the way around. Well, there's the O-ring at the top here. If it's cracked or see how this one's really too stretched too much, you gotta get another one. So replace that. The bottom base is all clean. So the open part like that goes face down. That's the way it goes like this. Make sure it's square. So we grease that up, this o-ring. If you want to know the best way of cleaning these filters, I'll link a video right here. We're going to put some new filters in. And it's fit on the bottom like that. So we're going to put the top piece on. Fits down. We're going to just bang it down a bit. Everything snug. I don't have one of these right now, but make sure you replace this. Like I said, I'll link it down below. There's a little screen. Next is the top part. Make sure that the O-ring on the bottom doesn't get pinched. Make sure that the lid goes on and where it sprays out the water, it's not going to spray on some electrical. So we're going to close that top valve. Close that off. Your plug, make sure that everything's all clean. That O-ring on the bottom, you can grease that up. If it's cracked at all, replace it. And we're going to put the drain plug back on on the bottom. So our plug's on. Next is the metal strap. back on you can put some grease on the thread so it doesn't so it's easier to take on and off so go straight in this piece you might have a different style bolt that goes on but it's pretty much the same idea and you tighten it up 
and it's just snug. You don't have to Arnold Schwarzenegger it on there. Okay, just snug. So once you get everything all, this is closed, bands on, bottom drain plugs on, so you're ready to go, then you can turn the pump back on. So let it run for a bit, let your pump get a lot of water out of it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up, let all the air out. And there you go. That's how easy it is to change the Hayward Swim Clear 5030.